I'm Lauren and welcome to my kitchen. Today we're making fancy grilled cheese. Now the fun thing about this recipe is that not only are we using tomatoes, but we're also adding spices that give it more depth than the typical grilled cheese sandwich has. So first what you want to do is have your, is have your stove turned up to about 2 thirds heat and then you're going to add about a tablespoon of butter into the pan. You're going to let that mix it up and spread it out and let it, let it heat up a bit. And once it's done heating up, we are going to add our bread. Now you could use any type of bread, and I mean really any type. I wouldn't use anything sweet, that's the one thing that I wouldn't do. But any other types of bread will work fine. So we're going to set that bread in the pan, and next we're going to add our cheeses. So typically three types of cheese works well, but you can add four or five. It, fun thing about cooking is that you can add is that you can really add it to your taste and do whatever you'd like with it. So I am adding Munster, provolone, and cheddar. But you could add anything. So once you've added your cheeses, we're going to add tomato. And the tomato adds some acid flavors to the, um, some acid acidity to the sandwich that the buttery cheese doesn't have. And then after the tomatoes, we're going to put on some spices. So I'm going to start with pepper. You might think you were gonna, if we're adding pepper, we're adding salt, but because the cheese is already salty, we don't need to add any. And then I'm going to add some garlic, a little bit of a a little bit of basil, and some red pepper. And the red pepper gives it a nice little kick. So what you're gonna wanna do from here is take your pan, and now that your other side of bread is toasted, you're just going to set that on top and you're going to let it melt for a little bit with the stove on low. Now just to show you, here are the ingredients we started with, are cheese, butter, tomatoes and such. And here's our final product, looking super gooey and delicious. I hope you enjoyed this video and if you're interested in trying my fancy grilled cheese for yourself during your lunch period as a snack or even for dinner, you can follow this video and use this recipe in the description below. Have a great day!